there you guys go. It's uh, Sunday evening, um, April 25. Got home from helping the kids with their cows and stuff and just got cleaned up here and shutting her down for the evening, about to have supper. It's like 7.30, almost 8 o'clock. And there's that sunshine. Sunset, big bright sky. Overcast, but the sun is below the cloud now. Looks good. Well, good morning, everybody. How the heck y'all doing today? It's uh, Monday, April 27 or something like that. <laughs> Just doing a check and checking on these guys. And this little one is up. You just saw him get up, but he's been up and he's sucked and that's mom right there with the ugly udder, but he's doing well. Still got a few cows left to calve out here. One of them's right here. When she's gonna pop it out, I have no idea, but she's gonna be a few days yet, that's for sure. Aren't you? Yeah, you're going to be a few days yet. Not black cow right there. Orange nine. She's one of the girls that we bought. She still hasn't calved yet. Right? And she's going to be a while. Like, at this point... Yeah, she's going to be a while. She'll be a May caver. Probably mid-May. And she was preg tested for March, April. And if I remember, yeah. 18 is calved. That's her little red calf right there. Yes. I see, you got yourself a baby and he's having brekkie. He's a little bit knobby need. But that's the only one today so far. The one in the barn is, uh, yeah, this girl's a ways away from having anything. She's gonna be a little later. Uh, the ones in the barn, or the better yet, the one cow in the barn, she hasn't calved yet. <sighs> so, but we're on the road today, so CP's gonna have to deal with these guys. Yup. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm going to get across the lake right here, and uh, we'll bring you back a little bit later. All righty, guys. Well, here we are. Mazer Group, New Holland, Emerald Park slash Regina, Saskatchewan. We just picked up this C-238 track loader, skid loader. <coughs> so it's just the... Just a bucket going with her. This thing is uh, all joystick control. There is no option for foot pedal. The only foot pedal in there is the is the throttle. And uh, she's pretty handy little unit, actually. You know, it wouldn't be that bad. I don't know what the lift capacity off the top of my head. I think it's right around uh, 2,500 pounds for this little guy. He's about 70 horse, 75 horse. So, and we're on our way to Roblin, Manitoba with it. Mazer Group, Roblin, Manitoba. So, with no more ado, we're gonna stop on the way to fill this pig of mine up with fuel. And uh, that'll be at Fort Capel. And then from there, one way straight into Roblin. It's about a three and a half, four hour drive one way. So 
let's make her happen. We'll talk to you guys later. Well, excuse me, here we are guys. Mazer Group, New Holland, Roblin, Manitoba. They actually got quite a bit of stuff here. At least out front, there's a pile of combines anyway. Lots of yellow equipment. And we'll get that piece of yellow equipment off our truck and uh, then do up a bunch of paperwork for these boys and just thought I saw a nail on the ground. I'm always looking at the ground for nails, guys. Mm, so, but yeah. And when I go to unload, I'll bring you guys into that machine on the inside so you can see what she looks like on the inside back in a bit alrighty guys so we're all un unchained got the chains off all the way around let me double check that hi yep and this is a used unit by the looks of these tracks they're chewed up a little bit and got a little cracking in there not bad but a little the bucket's got a little wear on it cutting edge anyway some wear right there whatever they were doing it was something was rubbing right on the cylinders but the rest of it inside is pretty decent No key for this thing really it's all push button on the pad here and it's all push button down there for all your other like extra lock fast speed slow speed hazard beacon lights that looks like for bucket extend but I'm not this one I don't think has bucket extend I don't know to be honest with you guys Nice rear view mirror up there. Head, head screen, or better yet, headlight. Ceiling vent light. And so on this one, push the power button. That fires things up. Glow plug off. Push hold start. You gotta put your bar down. This guy, it has to come down. And then you can hit your operate button. Just like that. Like I said, don't, no foot pedals in here at all. Just a foot rest. And then a throttle right here. You can hear it revving a little bit. And this one is bucket up. Like so and this should be your forward reverse just like that handy handy said to put it right beside this little wheel loader so that's what we'll do yeah yahoo and I always like keeping them with the bucket nice and flat I know some guys I've seen them put them with the bucket tilted up but that's just a tripping hazard I don't like doing that so that's what she looks like guys I it even has a little radio up there but you probably need headphones because I don't see no speakers in this thing but heat it's got heat and it's got air in it too air AC in it and so pretty nice little unit actually be handy little sucker that's for sure I'm more used to a tired uh, instead of tracks having one with tires on it but I'm also more used to foot pedals 
Our Bobcat at home will work off of hand controls or foot controls. You can do either either. But uh, this ain't so bad, I guess. Comfy as heck. But hey, there's a problem. Oh, there it is. There's the beer holder right down there. Right here. Your cup holder. So, okay, let's go get some paperwork done up and we'll talk to you guys later. Well, guys, all done. Empty trailer, look in the mirror. Nothing back there. So now it's just return home. Oh, hell, it's one o'clock. We'll be home in time to get all the chores done up. We'll be home before chore time. It's like a two and a half hour drive. Oh, so, unless something bad happens on the way home, we'll be, we'll be home in no time. I'll, uh, I'll let you guys go for now and I'll bring you back when we go through the big lake, lake of the prairies valley and show you the, show you the lake and going down through there. We'll talk to you guys then. Alrighty guys, here we go. We're going to head on down into this, uh, lake of the prairies valley down to cross the river too. And leave it to Manitoba, you know, like shoulders of their highways over here are just gravel. And sometimes not very nice gravel either. Like right here, it's all friggin' potholes. Uh, most of the shoulders in Saskatchewan are paved if there's a shoulder. Mm, so. But it's nice country out here. I like it out here. I think that guy was setting up some beehives out there in the bushes. That's what it looked like. I've always said to CP that we should hook up to the boat and the camper and come out this way and go camping or and go fishing but at this point we haven't made it out this way yet and there is a little bit of ice still on the lake Pretty country, that's for sure. She sure is pretty. In the summertime, on well, spring, when all this grass turns green, leaves come out. It's really nice. I've been told by a few people that the fishing out here is actually really good. big old hill. And basically once you get to the top of the hill and you go like a mile and a half and you're in Saskatchewan, simple as that. Mm, so. Lots of the people from Manitoba out in this neck of the woods for a major shopping center go to Yorkton which at this point is only 64 kilometers away. There, the blue signs are right there. So, Alrighty, I'm going to stop here and fill my coffee cup up and we'll bring you back and talk to you guys a little bit later. Maybe once we're at home. You are now. You hurt your back. So quit being so bossy and listen to what you're told. And yes, the camera's rolling. <laughs> hey guys, <coughs> how's it going? Uh, got home and I had a guy that called us up and he wants a 13 foot gate within a gate. Man gate within a panel. So this is what this is now here. So... We got our 13 feet all figured out. So now we just got to figure out our man gate area. And he wanted it six bars. So calves can't get their heads through it. So yeah. And 
I'm done with it for now because CP did some fixing on a calf shelter. There was a couple of boards busted out and the calves were crawling through. So we're going to take the old Sawzall and cut off the excess board that she hammered on there today. Yeah, we can close it. Ah, nah, just leave it for now. We got to feed yet too, so. Anyways, we'll get over to the calf shelter and I'll bring you guys back at that time. There's a fucking uh, cow jumping a calf today. See this little tiny thing right here? We bought mm -hmm. that one for that black cow with the orange number five in her ear. We probably should have got something different, but she was an aggressive enough little girl to go on mum, so that way it worked, but she's just a tiny little friggin' roan colored calf. Short horn, cross. Seventeen's doing pretty god darn the good nice. Who? 70. Yeah, yeah well, well you're still he's going to market. Here's knuckles still. Hey, look at you. Shut up. Who's calving next, babe? Who's the little black hole? You know, is it that 20? That's off number 10. Is it this guy? Um, off a red cow? I don't think so. The black bull calf that we held back is from a black black cow. I just want to see how he's doing. <laughs> is he laying down in the shelter? Nope. No, that's green tag. Green who? That's a green tag. Yeah. Number six has to cow, right? I think so. And this thing right here has to calve yet. That should be eight or nine right here. He's doing good. Where's, who's this black girl right here? What's her ear tag? Eight. Where's her calf? Eighteen, right there, the red one. Nice calf. Yep. But it's a steer. Six is calved. That's a calf right there. If it is, you can ring them. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the new one right there. And her mom's being a little bit of a biatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't touch my baby. I'll take you out knobby knees but he's getting better
few more of it, but they'll probably have more food. And 45 needs to cab yet. She's starting to show. She'll be another week and a half, two weeks, 10 days to two weeks. <clears throat> this girl right here. Green 12? Nope. Or 72. 72. She's not calved yet. What? Yep. She's been sucked on. She's calved. Well, then I went off of her yellow tag when I tagged the calf. You bet she could be such a bitch because she's a nice cow. Yet low 53 here. Hey boys. Alrighty guys, well, there you got the cow whole whole shebang. A walkabout for all of the cows and calves. I don't know. Wasn't laying in there when we first came into the corral to shred the bale, but laying in there now. Yeah, that red one is nice. I'll give you that. You don't look very perky. No, she, he don't. Twenty-four. Is he sleeping? Yep. He's just sleeping. He's got sore nuts because there's a ring on him. Well, you have sore nuts. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, give us the old, you know what, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends and neighbors, your family. Let's get them sub subscribers going here. <clears throat> What the heck are you doing, woman? Listen here, just because you got the whip in your hand doesn't mean I can't chain you up. You're not quick enough. I'm not quick enough, and you got a sore back. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you guys later. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done.